It wasn't always pretty, but the Ohio Bobcats got it done when it mattered. They beat the Kent State Golden Flashes 14 to 10. Ohio made a change of quarterback. Quentin Maxwell made his first career start and got his first career win. Coming into this game, there were questions about who would start under center, but it was Maxwell for the entire thing. It was a rocky start, but Maxwell led the offense when it mattered. He only threw for 127 yards, but also only had 19 attempts. With their backs against their own end zone with only a few minutes left, leading 14 to 10, Ohio needed a couple first downs to run out the clock. Ohio's offense struggled all second half, but on their final possession, Maxwell made the correct reads and got Ohio the yards they needed. Honestly, I, I'm, I'm going to sit back and I'm going to take that one on me. There were a couple times where if I hit a couple throws, easy, rather, I mean easy throws, that we, we continue some drives. And, uh, but I mean, props to them. They're a good team on defense, but we, like, we grinded out a win and we were able to get it done today. Ohio got on the board first thanks to a 49-yard touchdown run from Dorian Brown. The Bobcats increased their lead to 14 to nothing on a four-yard Malik Irons run that was set up by Irons' 60-yard run just a few plays before. Brown finished the game with 110 yards and Irons finished with 83. Ohio should have gone up 21 to nothing, but Irons fumbled inside the Kent State 5. Kent State then scored 10 unanswered points on a field goal right before the half and a touchdown on the opening possession of the second half. Kent State took nearly eight and a half minutes to go 75 yards on 17 plays before KSU quarterback Nick Holly ran it in from four yards out. Holly ran the ball 41 times for 159 yards in that score. Both teams traded punts for much of the remaining time in the third and fourth quarters. But with five minutes left in the fourth, Kent State threatened the Ohio end zone after the Bobcats muffed a punt and gave the Golden Flashes the ball at the Ohio 11. The Bobcats defense stood tall though and forced Kent State to go for the touchdown on fourth down with less than four minutes left. Holly's pass sailed over the hands of the intended receiver and Ohio took over for what turned out to be the game ending drive. There were many things uh, in, in that second half that, that kind of hit us and um, you know I think would have could have caved uh, a team that uh, doesn't have as much heart as this team has. I think all three phases contributed to the win. I think offensively we had to we had to make some first downs at the end in order to get it done. Defensively throughout the half and for really most of the game, except on a few long drives, did a did a great job. And they don't seem to be a, a, a defense that if you just put them in a bad position, they hang their head and, and don't respond. These guys respond. It's a weeknight match for the Bobcats from here on out. Ohio's going to travel to Toledo to take on the Rockets this Thursday at 7:30, so a mere five days away. We'll see if they can come out and get the win just like they did today over Kent State. For WOUB Sports, I'm Sean Neidig.